Today I'm going to show you how to change over the TFM coupler on your Ultimaker 2 Plus. Um, the same method applies for the Ultimaker 2 and they were previously fitted with a PTFE coupler. The exact same part which is made of a different material. Um, that had a tendency to, to wear out quite quickly. You'd get scorch marks like you can see here. Um, and this would cause a slight lip and cause a bit of friction on the filament passing through which, um, which will give you under, under extrusion and um, not really help with printing at all. And the newer TFM lasts a lot longer but it is still a consumable part so you, you may get to the point where you want to change one of these over and uh, we'll show you how to do that now. So the first thing you'll need to do is make sure that the filament is removed and the power is turned off and you'll need an Allen key, and that is it for this, for this job. First thing we'll do is remove this little blue clip here that holds the Bowden tube in place, and then push down on the collar, which will release it. We'll just bring that over to one side. Then we just want to unscrew these four long screws that run down the whole length of the head. You can see that it's starting to loosen up now. So just support the bottom. And you can completely remove these four. Now you're going to want to uh, remove the fan bracket. And there are just uh, two screws either side. Again, the same Allen key uh, required. Uh, be careful not to uh, not to lose them. Just put them down somewhere safe. And when you're doing this, just be careful not to uh, catch any of the wires because um, they will be exposed a little bit now. Um, so you don't want to pull on anything too hard. Okay. And once those screws are removed. fan bracket should come away and you can just put that to one side and then that gives you access to this block here. And you can see the TFM coupler here, uh, this is what we want to uh, change over. So the final screws that we're going to need to remove are just on the top. And on the Ultimaker 2 there is actually a spring in this position here. So when you remove uh, these, two, these two screws, you might find that it pops off, so just be careful. Uh, on, the, on the 2 Plus, that isn't the case, so it should be fine. So now we can remove this top piece. You can see the TFM coupler here. Um, it's worth just inspecting it for any damage, and it'll be quite secure, so we might need a bit of encouragement to get it off. So just, be, just take time with it um, and be careful not to damage it. And you can see actually on our one here, it's a tiny little bit of um, bit of wear. And there's a small, small lip on the TFM coupler. Um, so, I mean, really, that would probably be fine for a bit longer, but um, we'll change this over, put a fresh one on. So you bring in your brand new TFM coupler and just in the reverse of what you've just done, uh, insert that into, into the block here, just like that. Then bring in the uh, top section of this, this plate. And if it, you can see here, mine's not quite matching up. So the TFM's not fully inserted. Uh, so just push it down until uh, they, these two parts meet. Then bring in the screws and tighten those up. Okay, so now we'll just reattach the fan bracket. So just line up those holes there. And then 
bring in your screw and it's a little bit fiddly uh, to get these in. Just going to make sure you don't drop them. You want to make sure that these screws are fairly tight. Um, obviously don't over tighten them but, over -tighten them, but um, if they're loose the fan bracket will um, vibrate under the movement of the, uh, of the fans and that'll make a bit of a racket when you're printing. Right, so once the bracket is fitted, uh, we just need to realign uh, these plastic sections here. You can see they all slot into each other. And you want the cables to, uh, to just run up the, uh, the back in the center. And then this top piece faces that way. Then once you've got it held in position, uh, just bring back in your thumb screws here and slot them all the way down. It's useful to get one in first, don't uh, fully tighten it, just to hold it in place. And then you can bring in the others, one at a time. And again with this, don't over tighten them, um, you don't want to crack the casing just until you feel that everything's nice and secure and then the, uh, the final thing left to do is to reinsert the, the Bowden tube and you need the, uh, the white collar here to be uh, sitting flush to just hold it down while you insert the, the tube and make sure it's pushed all the way down and you can usually tell because there'll be a, a few um, small little perforations where it's been gripped before and if you've got any of these exposed, uh, you know that it hasn't been inserted fully. Then once it's in, um, it should lift up and give you the space to uh, insert the, uh, the blue clip here. And that just clips in under there to hold it, hold it in place and lock everything. And there you go, that's all ready to uh, print again. You can load your material and um, you should have a nice, clean extrusion. Okay, so that's the TFM coupler fitted um, and should, that should solve any uh, extrusion problems that you might be having. Uh, if you've got any questions about this process, just leave them in the comments section below. Um, and if you'd like to buy one, uh, you can do so by following this link. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.